Hi, this is Simone and I'm the Zen Mommy. I help people with spiritual awakening and navigating your ascension and the healing of the mind, body, and soul. And today we're going to go with our next chapter of Peace in Every Step by Tich Nhat Hanh. I, um, if you're new to this particular series, I started it um, in January and um, in in hopes to raise my vibration, going back to the basics of meditation. And I started a playlist for this. So if you look on my page, I'll have a playlist with every chapter in order if you missed any chapters. Um, you don't necessarily have to read it in order because it's more like I'm going to teach you like breathing um, techniques and stuff like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in order. Um, so you can definitely listen to this now if you're for new to this all right so this chapter is titled thinking less and again it's very short so um and i want it to be short because i don't want to have a super long video so we'll do one chapter at a time here we go while we practice conscious breathing our thinking will slow down and we can give ourselves a real rest most of the time we think too much and mindful breathing helps us to be calm, relaxed, and peaceful. It helps us to stop thinking so much and stop being possessed by sorrows of the past and worries about the future. It enables us to be in touch with life, which is wonderful in the present moment. Of course, thinking is important, but quite a lot of our thinking is useless. It is as if I, it is as if in our head each of us has a cassette tape that is always running day and night. We think of this and we think of that and it is difficult to stop. With the cassette, we can just press the stop button, but with our thinking, we do not have any button. We may think and worry so much that we cannot sleep. If we go to the doctor for some sleeping pills or tranquilizers, these may take these may make the situations worse because we do not really rest during that kind of sleep. And we continue and if we continue using these drugs, we may become addicted. We continue to live tensely and we have and we may have nightmares. According to the method of according to the method of conscious breathing, when we breathe in and out, we stop thinking because saying in and out is not thinking. In and out are only words to help us concentrate on our breathing. If we keep breathing in and out is for a few minutes, we be, we become quite refreshed. We recover ourselves and we can encounter the beautiful things around us in the present moment. The past is gone, the future is not here yet, and we do not, I mean, if we do not get back to ourselves in the present moment, we cannot be in touch with life. When we are in touch with refreshing, peaceful, healing elements within ourselves and around us, we learn how to cherish and protect these things and make them grow. These elements of peace are available to us anytime. Okay, so that was really short. Short. I may start reading more than one chapter a week or something. Okay. I know I just, I just, I have to get back here more frequently, but let's see how that works. All right. So, um, okay. So this is a short but powerful chapter. And again, it's giving us the same message that our reality is in the present moment. So I really feel like this book is, tries to give us ways to, it, it gives us awareness to what's going on. And with this awareness, we can combat, you know, well, I highlighted this. That's why I had paused the camera. This one part, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, mindful breathing. It helps us to stop thinking so much and stop being possessed by sorrows of the past and worries of the future. And so... Um, I know that that's been my problem a lot lately. Um, you know, since I last year I had fallen into, you know, an old vibration pattern of myself. 
and I wasn't meditating as much, I noticed I, the influx of thoughts and worries that was going My mind was like constantly running all the time. You know, that really can make anybody insane. So conscious breathing will help us to stop being possessed by our sorrows because it's like as soon as you get sorry, you think about the past, you think about a painful incident. And it's like your mind takes you back to that moment where this bad thing happened to you. And you can even feel the pain still. Like, of course, there might still be healing there. There might need to be shadow work there. But we can control, we can consciously take control of uh, our the way our mind is flowing with meditation with um, conscious breathing, taking the time to be aware of your thoughts, as it said. Um, let's see, what did it say right here? Oh, taking time to be aware of our thoughts will help us to be calm, relaxed, and peaceful. And it may not start off that way. It may take some time. And the thing is, if you're having a hard time with even just trying to like just consciously breathe from now and then, don't give up. Just just keep trying because it really takes practice to really get good at this. And it really takes starting to open your consciousness up to more awareness about yourself, uh, awareness about what your thoughts like sit. Uh, remember that reading we had, The Mind? I think it was um, two weeks ago where I talked about how, you know, the mind, it just all these things are just 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 firing off these thoughts, these ideas, these fears, past situations, possibilities of the future. And we literally feel like we're losing our minds sometimes like that. And so it, when, when, when it's that bad, it's really time to start sitting back and spending time with yourself and spending time with your mind. Like sit back and like that reading said, just sit back for 30 minutes and watch your thoughts. And I, 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 I'm starting to make it a habit to watch the many things going down in my mind. And let me tell you something. Since, let's see, I came back um, beginning of January and I started reading this book and stuff. I've There's been a dramatic decrease in the amount of stuff that's been going in my head. I feel more grounded. I feel more stable. I'm not out of the woods yet, but I'm it's doing so much better. Like, this is really making a difference just and it's like stuff that we know we knew about meditation we knew about breathing but sometimes we got to bring our awareness back to what it really does for us and then we got to bring our awareness back like what are we allowing our minds to be possessed by this is a short one let me see if there's anything else uh, we think of this and that and it is difficult to stop but with a cassette like it's similar to a cassette tape it runs and runs but the cassette tape, we can put the pause button and we can stop that. But our mind, it can run day and night. It can stop you from sleeping. I know a lot of times when I'm having like an insomnia problem, you know, my mind is running around too much. And as I said in my last reading is I started doing the conscious breathing and it's I fell asleep. And now I'm thinking from reading this chapter that that conscious breathing it helped me get out of those thoughts that were railroading my mind. And I was able to relax. Your body wants to relax. Your mind, your soul, all of that wants to relax. Once we're asleep, we're in a different dimension. We have other things going on. And it's very important for us to, to have that for our, our health, our holistic health, our well-being, to have you know a good night's rest when we can. Anyways, I'm going to stop this one there. I have more videos to make today. So thank you for watching. Peace and love. Namaste.